name is Sam Bird. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and deciding to watch with me. Today we are back with more fairy tale, which um I was super confused last episode. I'm very excited to see what is going on here. Uh, we are like in the future. We have skipped and people are like dead. We never found survivors. It is all crazy. So we are going to be watching episode 123 and 124 today put together i'm hyped you guys are hyped keep in mind if you want to see my reactions early you can go over to my patreon page in the description below to get access over there but without further ado let's get started like they never came back the year is 791 but like it's our main and characters. this is the Harjion port uh -huh. It's been seven long years since the fateful day Natsu and the others mysteriously disappeared yeah. on Tenro Island. Uh -huh. How long are you going to stare out at the sea? Our job's done. Oh, Let's hey. Head back to the guild. Hey, guys. I love you and I miss you. <sighs> oh, oh. oh, kiddo. Your dad's gonna start worrying if we don't get you back to him soon. Oh, shit. You look so different. All Zach Connell of the yeah. Fairy Tale Guild. And this is his lovely wife, Biska Connell. Biska and I are married! They got married! Oh! I'm so happy for them! Then Romeo Connell. Oh, and that's Romeo! Cheer up. I know how you feel, but we need to start moving. Biska. What? Oh my god, he's married to Fisco! Oh my god, how they can Fisco be together in South Africa? They're gonna get married! <laughs> that's honestly, above everything else, that's probably my like favorite thing about this already time gap thing. Still very confused what we're gonna do with this, but this is probably already my favorite part. <laughs> it's still just as bustling as it was okay. seven years ago. Far from the city center, there is a place that stands quietly on a hillside where okay. we're bound to find a few familiar faces. Who's this? Oh. I'm so confused. Why hasn't Romeo made it back to the guild yet? I'm gonna be I seriously so pissed if Balzac and Biscuit that... ditched the poor kid just so they could go make out. Take it easy, he's will so you? I mean, it's not like he's a little boy anymore. He's a young man now. Oh my God, they're still fighting, even though they're old. They're old and they're fighting. Or have we lost a lot of members? Oh, no. I guess that's to be expected, Max. Our guild's oh, reputation no. and the number of job requests just oh, keep no. going down. Oh, come on. At least we've still got a few flyers left up on the board. Oh. What's it matter to you how many are up there, Nab? You haven't been on a job in over seven years. Oh. Um, are you sure, Droy? Oh, hey. I think all of that food is starting to catch up with you. If I didn't know any better, I'd think you were calling me fat. Uh, that's exactly what she's doing. Oh, my gosh. Have you taken a look in the mirror lately? You guys look so different. Look how oh. slim he is now. We. Oui. But I was never actually fat. Master put a spell on me. I don't know oh. what you're talking about. I'm still physically fit. Just look at my muscles. Everybody in the guild has matured. Oh, Even Keenan has more I'm ladylike. I'm so you, on the other confused. Hand, shut up. I have to eat a lot because it increases my magic Everyone power. Everyone looks right, so different. I don't know who this dark purple hair girl is. Levy's never coming back. Oh. It's been seven years. Can't blame the guy. No oh. matter what time I come here, the place is always quiet. I guess no one wants to bring the business to your crummy guild. <laughs> Fairy tales? tales lost all its mojo. What are you and your lackeys doing here, Tebow? That is so old! We've come this to collect is weird! This month's I payment. can't look at him! Are you telling me you ain't paid him yet, Mako? Hey, didn't I tell you to call me master? Oh. If you'd pay your loan on time, we wouldn't have to drop by like this. We don't have the money because we haven't had any decent jobs oh. lately. We'll pay it in full next month. Oh. Oh, go. Master, no! Ah. Oh, man, he went flying! Wow, fairy tales really gone down the gutter, huh? Ah. Oh. Dead it! We're not even gonna fight back fairy tales! <laughs> I don't like the new fairy tale. How'd you like to join us, <laughs> <sighs> that was fun. 
Let's go. Right, boss. You got one more month, and that's it. Okay. Are you all right? Yeah. Who is this dark-haired girl? Dark purple. I don't know her. I don't even know who you are. Is something wrong, Mako? I'm sorry. But I don't think that I can keep this up for very much longer. Oh, no! Don't worry, you're doing a fine job, Master. Oh. <laughs> Poor Romeo. <laughs> I haven't seen him smile once since the day they disappeared. Oh, Papa. Giant flying horse. Whoa. Oh, is oh. that the new Blue Pegasus ship? The Christina Advance? Oh. Oh, all of them grew up too! Oh no! Oh, your hair. Oh. Um. I apologize for making you wait. Yeah, hi bud, missed you. You know there are much better ways of getting off the ship than jumping, boss. Especially when I can use air magic. Long time oh. no see, you guys. Kibiki. Uh, oh! Red. You're looking oh. a lot older, Makau. Oh my god, they all look so fine now! I mean, I still like Ichi as the bad. <laughs> You're as pretty as ever. <laughs> yeah, you look hot. For a girl in glasses. <laughs> May I call you Big Sis? Oh, well, uh... Did you come here just to pick up chicks? <laughs> Kina and I. You have plans tonight. Why do you have to look so beautiful in that dress? I miss them. Tell me, would you like to have a little brother? Well, uh... Oh, oh, oh that's so creepy. Here? Cut it out, you three. I didn't like the way you phrased that. We've oh. been flying Christina around Fiore to survey ether nano levels in the area. Oh. And if archives data now is correct, so much hotter. all of our hard work <laughs> How can he get hotter? <sighs> Are you ready for this? Tinro Island still exists. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Good. Oh. oh, okay. Nothing really happened there, so that was a weird transition. I feel kind of bad about leaving Romeo behind. Me too. Maybe we should have brought him along after all. No, it's better this way because there's no guarantee they're still alive. That's Aww. the grim truth. There's no point in getting everyone's hopes up. Yeah. We'll see, Levy! We're going to be not getting our hopes up. I can't say that I blame them, though. <laughs> I love how dedicated they are it's to her, though. It's been seven years since we last heard from them. we got to consider the worst-case scenario. We know. <laughs> we know. Their little pouting is just so precious, though. Anyone see that? A person? There's no way. It's floating above the water. You guys, that is definitely a what person. What is that? Who is that? What are oh, you? They're standing on the water. Who could it be? Who are you? Oh, you. I don't like that you don't have pupils. Blink, motherfucker! Only irises. What are you doing? Oh, whoa, look at the water. Oh, oh, doesn't matter, actually. Let them fly off. It's fine. If they are alive, which most likely they are, are they seven years older as two? Or are they doing like they were in stasis type of thing? Oh, that'd be so awkward for the boys, though, because Levy's seven years, like, she's never aged. And they're seven years older. They're going to be crib snatchers. <laughs> it's fine. She's got God Shield, though. Girl, who are you? Thank you for doing this. But who were you? Who? You're like a hey! little angel. Wait up, it's so will cute. You? Any idea who that girl is? Nope, I've got no clue. All I know is that she helped us find Tenro Island. Yeah. Maybe she's taking us to the others. Go! Do you <gasps> see something? Oh my gosh, not to. <gasps> oh! oh, it's so crazy. Is he alive? Not soon. 
Oh, so where's everyone else? Holy cow. <laughs> this dump looks even more oh, deserted than no. it was yesterday. Seems less like a guild and more like a kid's clubhouse. Timo, oh. I thought we agreed that we'll pay you next month. Yeah, I mentioned it to our master. He said no way in hell. Oh! You may be able to boss dad and the others around because they're scared of standing up to you. Oh. If oh. they won't, I will! I'm not gonna let you guys disgrace Fairy Tale's good name! Romeo! Oh. Stupid kid! <sighs> Hate to tell you, oh. but the name's already been disgraced. Leave my boy alone! You could train oh. hard your whole life, and there's still no way you'll ever beat me! <laughs> Do we only have not to right now? Oh, they're all here! Wow, so master two even. Oh, look at everybody. <laughs> look who's back! Oh. Sorry to keep you waiting for so long. We're gonna need a bigger guild hall for this party. You look so young! Yeah, it's like you guys have an extra yeah, day in seven years! Tell us what happened! Hinatsu, wake up! Oh, yeah, I would like to see this. So confused. Wait, where's everybody else? They're over here. Oh. Uh, who are you? Who are you? Can you tell us? Don't worry, I mean you no harm. Okay. I'm the Fairy Tale Guild's first master. Oh! My name's Mavis Vermillion. Mavis! <laughs> Mavis, you're adorable! No wonder you have fairy glitter. Only someone as cute as you would have fairy glitter. I was able to convert the bonds of trust and friendship between your guildmates into pure magic power. What? Their bonds were so strong that fairy sphere was activated. One of the three grand fairy spells. It is an absolute defense spell capable of protecting the guild from all manner of evil. Then why did it have to take seven years? Your unwavering conviction and your love for one another? They're what brought forth this miracle. Oh! You should be proud of the guild you built. They're wonderful. Oh! Well, thank you, Mavis! Well, that's it. Wild. Okay. Oh, Romeo. Look at you, Romeo. Ah! All grown up. Oh. <laughs> that's so sweet. Why did we need a seven year time gap though? Very confused. Okay, so Mavis is a adorable little ethereal being who helped save us, but it was our magic of trust and bonds and the magic of friendship saved us as per usual. Not complaining, just stating a fact. Um, wow, what a crazy, uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm interested why we felt the need to have a seven year time jump. Like, is it just that like we needed to get the council off our back story wise? So we like just let fairy tale go to ruin so we could rebuild it. Or is there like another reason with like the dragons that we need like the seven year time gap? I'm just I'm a little confused to the, to the why of this. Maybe we will learn as we go. I'm just very confused why. Uh, I just I don't understand that. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, we're only one episode deep into it. So like I can't expect to like fully understand it yet. So I. I, I will be patient and trust the show has some reasoning. But after the whole, like, <laughs> you know, I just, I, I am just, I'm questioning a little bit more this choice for the gap. I, I am due to other things that have happened in the show that I was like, why did we do this at this time? And there's been no reasoning for it <laughs> so um interesting though uh makao being our guild master 
does make sense. I'm sure they fought forever about that, but it does make sense to me. Uh, I know they went searching for the fairy tale members, but I'm still confused if they actually went searching for Loxus. Because I feel like logically they would go search for Loxus because he would be their next guild master. But I guess he was banished, so maybe they didn't go search for him. I'm curious if they'll bring that up. Doubt it. Think that's just a me question. <laughs> But I am curious because I feel like that would have gone to him in this extreme of a situation. But maybe they like did get word Loxus was there. I don't know. But yeah, so interesting. I'm curious how this next episode will go since they go hand in hand to see kind of what, you know, uh our master does makarov and see kind of how we start rebuilding fairy tale and getting our name back out there it's it is an odd choice i will say a very odd choice so i don't i don't, I don't know i don't know <laughs> Um, I'm still like vibing, like I'm still fine. I'm just like, I have so many questions and just no answers yet. So maybe next episode, maybe we'll find out in a bit. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I really, I really like the Tenro arc. I am sad that we're out of the Tenro arc, but I am curious. Cause now we have like a fourth of our fairy tale members who are left, you know, now seven years older along with Romeo, which I'm guessing since they've been putting a lot of focus on Romeo, Romeo maybe matters a bit more. And then we have a bunch of fairy tale members who haven't aged a single day in seven years. So it's weird. <gasps> oh, oh, oh no, no. I was just going to say, I was like, do we have the gap because of Jalal? But Jalal was sentenced for like life, wasn't he? Like it wasn't like seven years. He was sentenced for like life, I'm pretty sure. So never mind. I thought I was smart and I figured it out, but no. I don't know. Maybe he got out on good behavior. Who knows? <laughs> um, yeah. I have so many questions. Um I don't think Altier was affected by the fairy tale like grand order law whatever so altier also must have aged seven years too so that will also be curious to connect back with her if we ever do oh god jalal's seven years older now too oh i didn't consider that oh no now he's a crab snatcher for urza granted i think they were the same age actually like pretty close give or take a year or two so it's not super weird but now jalal's seven years older than like more than urza oh no ah oh my god i bet he heard that urza was like gone i bet he was really sad i hope somebody tells him that she's okay <laughs> but wow okay um i'm excited to to move on to the next episode to see like you know <laughs> so let's get started i see you're rocking fire magic too romeo Aww. watch out world it's getting hot up in here <laughs> look i can even make cold flames that is oh. quite cool and what is this one it's a purple flame that can stick to anything it's cast on oh. and i got this funky yellow one that smells like dragon parts hey, oh. you. you have a strange <laughs> gift yeah I certainly didn't expect you'd be willing to wear the big shoes. Aww. Well, they never quite fit me. Let's Aww. just say that I was keeping them warm for you. Now that you're back, I can enjoy a stiff drink. And here I was thinking about letting you keep the position. Ah! Are you serious? First Master Mavis. Second Master <laughs> Third Master Makal. Yeah. And Fourth Master Makal Kongbolt. Yeah? <laughs> Maybe I could drink and be master. Maybe. Well, you know, this is the best decision you've made, but I think it's kind of funny. Me too. <laughs> you think it's funny? Yeah! Congratulations! When did this happen? 
happened? About six years ago. Sure wish all you guys could have been there. Of course, things got married six out when I years ago. It was adorable. Did you have to bring that up? I just knew, like, oh, no. No. how could you get married without me there? Can someone stop her? <laughs> Looks like hers are blue views. Oh, no. I can't say I blame her. I'm bummed I couldn't be there, too. Yeah. That's wonderful. Do you have children? We have a daughter. Yeah, we named her Oscar. You have a daughter! Welcome. Huh? May I help you? Wonderful. Oh, it no, I recognize these freaks. Dolly! Who are these bows? Dolly's back! They got Dolly! Dolly! I'm glad to hear your deaths were exaggerated. Oh. Dolly! You appear to be in great health. Oh, oh my god, Toby! You've oh. barely been back two days and you've you. already trashed the place. We need to talk about no war and oh, daughter. We have a lot to catch up on. Pegasus and Lamia scale helped to search for Tenro Island longer Aww. than anyone else would. We appreciate it. Well, I guess we owe you one, man. <laughs> I'd love to take you up on that. <laughs> but I've got seven years on you now. Yeah. And I'm not the kind of guy who takes advantage of children. He, he yeah, <laughs> rub them in. Children! So you see, things oh. haven't been completely bad while you guys were taking your seven-year siesta. In that oh. time, Lamia Scale climbed the ranks to Fiori's second-best guild. Wow. They're so much older. Crazy. Huh? Oh! <gasps> Shut up. <laughs> I never believed in true love until now. <laughs> He's getting himself into here. <laughs> the love triangle has begun. Yeah! Okay. What a healthy imagination. Oh my goodness. I like the Leon. It's like a little bit of a grush on Juvia. But poor Sherry. Because Sherry likes him. Now we're in this weird like, like, oh no. <laughs> but I like, I love that plot point of having Juvia like Grey, but Leon likes Juvia. Oh my goodness, I don't know who to root for. Cause kind of like, I do think Juvia deserves a man who's like just as obsessed with her as she will be of them. So it does make me kind of sad, but I, I, I kind of, I can't help but like root for Leon a little bit, you know? <laughs> Cause like, it's cute. It's cute. I don't know. I'm so confused. <laughs> anyway, guess which lucky guy just found out he's a daddy. Hold up. <laughs> Romantic touchy feeling. Come on, give Papa Aww. some kisses. You're embarrassing me. Oh, Let come go. on. I want to get you. Do you seriously think they're fooling anyone with that act? Just go along with it. I mean, it's awkward enough as it is. Aww. Here she is, my precious baby girl. <laughs> she definitely takes after you two. I want to see your daughter! Ah! This is all so exciting! When I think about what they went through, I can't help but feel a strange sense of guilt for their pain. That's a long time to wait. It's a long time, yeah. But it's not your fault. You guys couldn't have known, you know? So it's going to take a while, but don't feel bad. Oh, you have seven years of rent to pay. Oh, no. <laughs> it's the landlady. I heard you were back, Miss Hartfelia. Uh oh. I hope you and your pocketbook are in good health. Because uh -oh. you owe me seven years' rent. Yeah. Five million, eight hundred and eighty-eight thousand jewels. Oh, no, no, Lucy, no. Maybe talk to your papa. Your dad's seven years older. I bet he's successful. He can help pay for you, at least for a little bit. Reach out to papa. Makes me think about my dad. Yeah, you should talk to him. Get some money. Poor he's guy. rich now. It's been seven years since he's heard anything from me. Yeah. He must be worried sick. He probably is. Maybe it's time I paid my old man a visit. You should! He'll probably give you money too. You could pay your rent then. But don't think I'm going to see him to ask for money. Cause I'm not. Okay, well, I tried, <laughs> Lucy, I tried. <laughs> Urza, I thought you'd like to know about Jalal. <laughs> Hold on now. By the way, Makarov, the wizard saints will be holding a meeting very soon. You should come. 
You oh. need to be debriefed, and there's a matter of importance to discuss. Oh. You know Ultir and a girl named Melody, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, but how do you know about those two? Ooh, so much drama. I'm I'm here for it. Tell me. Give it to me. So you're still alive after all, Zeref. Yeah, I figured that much. Oh my goodness, wait, are we not gonna like touch on those like plot points, those topics? We're not gonna get we're not gonna talk about them right now, because I wanna know right now. Excuse me, may I ask you something? Yes, ma'am. Do you happen to know if Mr. Jude Hartfelia will be coming in today? He's still registered here, isn't he? Uh would you be Jude's daughter by any chance? Uh oh. Yep. Uh oh. Their problem, oh? lady? Is he out sick today? Do you have his home address? Um, actually, I'm very sorry to have to tell you this, but Jude passed away a little over a month ago. What? It was a shock to all of us. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I want to exploit him for years. money. He's piling on. Oh my god, what? That's so sad. She didn't even get to say goodbye to her dad. Did he at least leave behind money? <laughs> Sorry for putting you through all this trouble. Oh. Are you gonna be okay, Lucy? Yeah. I'm just shocked about my dad is all. Mm -hmm. I'll be just fine. I know a few years have passed, but... It feels like I saw him alive and healthy a couple months ago. Yeah. It's hard to accept that I'll never get to see or speak to him again. Yeah. What bothers me most is that even though I feel sad and I miss him, I can't cry. The tears just aren't there. Does that mean in the end he meant nothing to me? No, you're No, of course it doesn't. I don't know how to explain it. But I don't think whether you cry or not means you cared any less about him. Yeah. Thanks, not soon. You can have complicated feelings about someone and not cry and still miss them, though. And have regrets. They already feel better. Good. It's hard. It's really hard. There ain't no way I'm gonna back down until you and your guild have paid the debt you owe me. This is Twilight Ogre's master, Bonabaster. Oh. I would like nothing more than to pay you, but I'm sure you're well aware of the financial rut we've found ourselves <gasps> in. Your business records have a lot of holes in them. It makes you wonder if we're paying more than we really owe. Oh. Would you care to explain that? You trip! We only came here to discuss money, but we can discuss your reputation as well. Oh? I have no problem telling you what yeah. I think. You want to wear cement shoes, you old geezer? Get payback for what's owed. If memory serves, that's the Twilight Ogre Creed. Huh? Much like an eye for an eye. Oh. Indeed. And when you think of it in those terms, you owe us for seven years of property damage and abuse. So it seems you owe us. It's only oh. fair our guild be paid back for each and every claim during oh. that time. The suffering my children endured in your hands. Oh, shit. So if it's war you want, then it's war you're gonna get. Oh my god, the she devil's out! And the Danya! The landlady? Oh, huh? Oh, why are you wearing the clothes? Wait, what are you? Ah! I heard you pretty to die! Oh. oh. Why I did she let you in? But it looks exactly oh my the God, way look I left seven years ago. I'm gonna cry. I left all your mail on the table there. I'm her dad. Oh. Without fail, they would show up every year on the same day. To my dearest daughter, Lucy. My dearest Lucy, happy birthday. As I write this letter, I find myself wondering when you'll get to read it. A long time has passed since the news of your disappearance reached me. Okay, so he, I'm he, very worried, he didn't know. But I have faith that you're okay. safe. So he just didn't think she was ignoring him. I think of you and Layla every single day. Those memories keep me going. I miss you terribly. 
Wherever you are, I hope you're living life to the fullest and following your own path. Please, never forget how proud I am of you. Oh, I won't have to. Lucy, I love you. That is one thing that will never change. She doesn't need to worry about work. A letter came this morning with seven years worth of rent. Honestly, it's amazing what some parents will do to support their children. Oh, that means we're the only ones who still have to worry about missing money! We don't have time to stand around! Let's get to work! Hey, sir! Me and Happy are going on a job! We'll pick up some white clover dumplings for you on the way back, okay? Aww. Past seven years may have left a painful mark on every member of Fairy Tale. Yeah. Wait up, I'll go with you. Your life moves on. But that's okay. Cause we're gonna keep living this life to the fullest. Aww. That messed me up. <laughs> that was so sad. What the heck? I had no right being that sad. And I just feel like worse about it because I was like, yeah, let's exploit his love for money. And then he's dead. And then he's dead. <laughs> he's dead. Oh my gosh. <sighs> oh my goodness. I, I know, I know Lucy's dad wasn't like, the best of parents, you know, with her growing up. But, like, people can change. And I do think, you know, parents do what they can for their kiddos. And, you know, sometimes it's hard and we don't understand that we are hurting them, what have you, you know? And it's difficult. Parenting is insanely hard. And so I, I get it. I get it. But I'm glad that Lucy had a positive interaction with dad the last time. And that at least in her home, she has these other memories of dad now. These other gifts. And that dad helped her out without ever needing to. And I think the, the true beauty behind dad paying off her rent for her is that dad continued the i'm gonna get teary-eyed again i'm sorry dad continued to believe that his daughter would come back home and that's why he paid it and i think that is so lovely and so sweet that he never gave up hope that she would come back so i love that that really just kind of like it got me good i i'm a daddy's girl at the end of the day <laughs> so anything with like dad really gets me like like husband hotel all that stuff like anything with like a dad daughter relationship it just like it shinks me in the heart because i'm just like i want to go see my dad <laughs> i want to go talk to my dad <laughs> like i just get all i get all emotional so it's it's a good cry it is a good cry but like it, it gets to me and i'm like trying not to <sighs> i'm good i'm good i'm good i'm not gonna cry anymore i will cry <laughs> But like, it just makes me think of like, just like, what would, what would happen if that happened to me? Like, I didn't get to see my dad. Like, that's hard. Like, that's really hard. And in Lucy's situation, she didn't get closure. And so sometimes without that closure, it's really hard to process that somebody is gone from your life. And that, you know, it's not just there temporarily, you know, not there. It's that they're gone, that you will never get to talk to them again. That's very hard to process. Like you can say it to yourself. Someone else can say it to you. But sometimes it just, it doesn't feel real. And I know for like myself, um, when I had lost like my first like close grandparent to me, 
I didn't cry at first. And then I think it was about like four months later, I was playing cards with my dad and I just started crying. It was his mom, obviously. But I just started crying and he was like, whoa, like what is going on? And I was just like, I miss her. And sometimes they just come later. When you finally, especially when you're younger, finally process that that person's not there. So it's really, really hard. Really, 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 really hard. And there's a lot of complicated feelings and it's okay to take time. And so when Lucy was like, does that mean I don't miss my dad if I'm not crying? And it's like, no, like it doesn't, honey. Like you care to go visit him and you said you weren't going for money, but you care to even go see him after all those years because you recognize that like he probably missed you too. And in Lucy's situation, it's so much more complicated because she just saw her dad a few months ago. To her, she just saw her dad a few months ago. So it didn't feel that long. So it's very difficult. But I'm glad that Lucy got closure to it all with that letter and getting to understand that her dad did recognize and was notified that Lucy was missing. At least he knew. I think it would have been sadder. And I don't want it to be sadder, you know, <laughs> but it would have been much sadder had he not known she was gone and just thought that like she was ignoring him or something. So, and it's so sad to know that it was only by like, what, they said like a month or two, a couple months or something that like it was so soon. So it breaks my heart. And the sad reality is I almost wonder if he was working hard to like pay for her rent too. I don't know. I think that would be the saddest if we ever like found out he was like taking on extra work because he was trying to afford his own living and her expensive living. That would really break my heart because like he worked himself to death to like keep that for Lucy. That would make me sad. But okay. Off of that topic, because I'm going to end up crying if I keep thinking about sad father-daughter stuff. It fucks me up, man. Just like animals dying. It fucks me up. Um, okay. Oh, so we have so many, like, plot points we need to get on. Uh, Zara, we know, is still around. The world is still in one piece, per se. So, like, Zara hasn't done anything in seven years that's been super bad. But they did mention, uh, was it Jura? Uh, Jura mentioned that Master should come with to the council meeting because they're going to talk about Zaref, which will be good. Um, and then Leon actually knows Altier, which was crazy. Not knows, but knows of her. So I'm curious how they... Uh, like how he knows of her if she found him or like what happened there like really really interesting and then uh we had uh alzac and bisca tell uh urza like do you want to know about jalal which is interesting like i'm gonna guess he's alive and I say that only because they may be like, he died or something, but he's going to come back. He just always comes back. He's never gone. Like, I can never believe this man is truly dead. So even if they do say in the next episode that like, yeah, Jalal's dead, I'm not going to believe Jalal's dead. <laughs> I believe he is very much alive and well and hiding somewhere waiting for Urza to come around again so he can pop his head out and be like, hello, I'm here. I'm Jalal. So I will not believe that they say he's dead or something. Um, but the fact that they at, like asked her for like an update would make me think that maybe he's like, like a, a potentially going to be on parole or something in prison or maybe get out of prison. I'm not sure. Hopeful. Like I do want him out of prison. Like he would be helpful to like the guild if he joined fairy tale. Do I think he'll ever join fairy tale? No. I think he's going to be one of those Enigma characters that just always pops back up when we need him. <laughs> so, eh. But, oh, wow. So, yeah, seven-year time gap. 
we are now kind of through some of these difficult parts of it all. We still have like a couple plot points that we need to get back to and touch on, but we're we're kind of through it now. Like we've had our peace with like Lucy and her dad and we're moving on. So I'm very, very excited to see where we are going again. I still don't quite understand the need for the seven year time gap. I don't know if it's sincerely just like we needed the heat off a of fairy tale and we didn't know how to problem solve that. Or if like we needed time to get Jalal out for some reason, or if we needed like old tier to like be moving on, or if we just needed like Zara to like be powering up for seven years. Like I don't understand like what the point of this time gap was. So again, uh, we'll just keep going and figure out what's going on. I'm still enjoying fairy tale. I'm having a fun time. Uh, again, I'm just curious to see where we go. So thank you guys so much for watching this with me. I really do appreciate you all. And again, I am just very excited to see where this is all going to go. So thank you guys. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. That way you guys know when I upload and I will see you all later. Bye.